Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. I am back. Yes, that's right. You heard me right. I am back from my hiatus. Um, I'll tell you the truth. I've really enjoyed my time off. I have really enjoyed my time off. It's just what I wanted. Um, it's kind of made me think about things um, and consider, you know, what I want to do going forward. And of course, playing Portal 2 in your community maps is still high on that priority list of things I want to do. What I don't want to do, though, is commit myself like every day because I've got a lot going on in life at the minute. I'm trying to overcome some personal hurdles and some achieve some personal milestones. And I think trying to record Portal 2 videos every day at the moment um, doesn't or won't quite fit into that um that sort of whole thing so um for now the schedule it will be a bit sporadic it's not going to be every day at least i don't think it's going to be every day um so it's going to be a bit of an irregular um upload pattern and upload schedule um while i've been gone though i want to say a massive thank you to everybody who has been continuing to submit map requests i have got a big big list of stuff um to be working on to be going through so thank you very much for everybody for your continued um, map submissions um whether or not i play them in order i don't know what i'm going to do at this point um i don't know whether or not some of these are like solid maps some of these are easy maps and i kind of want to try and get into things slowly so maps like when i see maps from like hanky and stuff they're gonna wait no offense hanky but i just kind of want need to get back into the groove a bit find enough time to you know sit down and do those difficult maps but um like and so just um thank you for sticking with me during this break thank you for continuing to submit your maps as well i really do appreciate it so today we are gonna play miyokas from narcos and don't forget if you are new to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe i would really appreciate your support um but without further ado let's jump in the description it's almost like i've forgotten my intro and everything it, it's bizarre this is bizarre uh please read this map was part of dark rose and map concept number two the theme was ghostbusters and one of the main elements should be gel this is what i came up with a bit more gimmicky but i hope you like it difficulty could be high it depends on you and your level of creativity for yorick four out of ten for dark rose and 6.7 something 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 out of ten maybe and for anybody else seven out of ten always ask yourself how elements and geometry can be reused this is the key feel free to ask for hints or something uh, it contains uncommon hopefully interesting moves to be honest without this contest i would never use the special item that defines this map but i'm glad i had a chance to create a puzzle with it no cube throwing no glitches no speed running techniques there's no need for you to do actually weird jumps uh it's not needed to balance cube between portals at the moment there's a possible major exploit found by pollux i will fix it in the beginning of january um has this been updated since then it was not updated since then. Uh, just don't use orange gel near the exit door. It is not intended to use a wall jump in that area. If you want to see the exploit, you can check out Pollux's video in the comments. Collision is off. Point is a bit low, large, but I had to build it that way. It was too much exploit. Sorry. And um, portal Ghostbusters don't use portal guns. Have fun. And let me know if you can solve it. Well, after nearly four minutes into the video... Let's do this, so to speak. So, I haven't um, been completely taking time off from Portal. I've, I have occasionally played um, the uh, some front page maps, so. Okay. What are you trying to show me with this? What are you trying to show me with that? Oh, 
obviously doing something with this bridge here. Okay. Oh, what if... Hold on. Well, that... I mean, that entire moves it off. Is that what was intended? If that's what was intended, what was... I mean, couldn't you have just put that as all grating if that was intended? Hmm. I'm a little bit worried that I've not got the idea behind this. Okay. What? You can... Is it, have I ever been away that long? This Is this a new B-Mod thing? We now have a slanted glass. Or is that something you've made yourself, Narcodes? So that's going to um, kill that and that. That angles a panel. Which turns that off. Which I could potentially use to go up to here. While keeping portals. That's completely water, so we're going to have to activate that to go through there, I guess. I want to do some big boy speed fling over to there at some point. Okay. Okay, okay. That's... That's kind of better. Alright, so then what I can do from here is this. Which allows me to go both ways. Alright, let's resave there. I'm going to be saving a lot here. cube. So put that there and that will spawn that. The problem with that is that's going to Apologies, guys. So, I wonder if I can do this. It doesn't give me enough time to... do what I wanted, did it?
I was hoping just to get around there in enough time. But... Wasn't the case. Oh, what if I... Could I do this, though? I wonder if I could do this. Yeah, there we go. Now we can get this one. Okay. Okay. Second cube. Save. Don't know where I want that second cube at the moment, though. It's been that long look. Kind of walk through a pole. I don't believe I would want it in here. At the moment. Like, in that side is what I meant by in here. Because I kind of said in here and then I walked all the way across here, which didn't make sense. So... How now, brown cow? How do we... See, this is my problem now. Because I didn't... Or because I don't... Or didn't understand them how, what that mechanic was doing. I now don't know what I need to do to block the laser. Because I'm assuming that's what I need to do. Let's go over here as well, for the time being. Why is there a portal gun down there? That's bizarre. Nice little um, aesthetic touch, but very bizarre. I don't see a way that we're going to actually get to the end here. Oh, I could have brought this over here. Still in the cube. I 
Yeah, I don't... I'm not sure I understand the trick here. So I think what's meant to happen is whatever the trick is, I'm meant to do it here. But it's obviously nothing to do with the orange gel because we haven't got access to orange gel at the minute. Okay. So... Oh, hold on. There might be another way. There's another way, I think. I think I'm just being slow. Okay. It will respawn both cubes, but it will allow us to get down to here to do something else. So let's run with this. Okay. So now we have access back over to the other side. What do we need now? Um, we need the bridge again, don't we? To get the cube back, at least. Let's go and get our companion cube back. Just because. Save. So. Now we're going to go over here. And we can access over the other side. Now, 
Maybe we want to try and do this. Maybe we need to try and do this with an open portal. So what good does that do? I'm not really sure what that does for me. Why would I want to be over here? That's going to respawn the um, because I haven't taken the redirection cube away. That's going to respawn the uh, companion cube. So, in the interest of safety, this oh that was the wrong call let's not do that let's try that again do that and then do that it's because last time around I used the the the, the other poles okay So what are we, we going to do now? I honestly don't know for a start. Let's you know, taking it back a notch. I honestly don't know. how we get to the exit without any bounce gel. So that's problem number one. How do we get bounce gel? All the way over here. Description said about how elements and geometry can be reused. That is key, apparently. The thing is, alright, it says about using 
orange gel. How would I even... Like, seriously, how would I even use orange gel? If I had the cubes up here... It's not going to do anything. Apart from kill me. go back because I want to try and better understand what the deal is with the lift. So I'm going to play around with the lift and when I work it out I will come back. Alright guys so after quite a bit of time it seems like I did the right thing. I spent some time trying to figure out what to do, and in the end, I checked um, Sears' video. Uh, link in the description, hopefully, if I remember. Um, and yeah, he did exactly the same thing that I did. So I'm going to assume that that is the intended move. So with that in mind, the I don't think the these uh, piston platforms actually have anything really to do with anything as such so okay let's um, let's soldier on then now that we know that I suppose what we're gonna want to do now then is the only thing I can think to do, right, is go and have a look at that other portal gun. So to do that, um, we would need to set up this trick again. Wouldn't we? Yes, we would. And to set up the trick again, we're going to want to do... Um, down here... I didn't, I didn't pick that cube up. Uh, it should be alright, actually. This should be fine. Connection's active at the minute, so... Okay. So, see, this is... This is kind of where issues start to creep in because how do I now turn off this so I'm pretty sure it might work Yeah, it's not going to work. So how can I force the light bridge to be dependent on that? That's the big question.
But then hold on. If I force the light bridge to be if I force the light bridge to depend on this cube, there's no point in painting that because Is there? there wasn't any Paul Sifson on this side, was there? No, it's irrelevant because when I did that trick before, both cubes got fizzled and I had to go and get that uh, companion cube back. Um, okay, I see how to do it now. I see how to do it. Take this one over here. This one goes on here. That doesn't make that dependent on that, though, does it? Ah, crud. For some reason, I thought that this, this was the one that turned on the light bridge. And it's actually that one. So yeah, how would I... How would I... The only, the only way I could see to do something like that would be to... Point it through the portal, but I don't think balancing the cubes through that portal surface to aim it over to there while up there is going to be the right thing to do. I just can't imagine that being the the done thing and besides I can't do that anyway huh okay so the Is there a way that I can see both of these surfaces from up here? No, but if I had my wits about me, I could potentially do this. Do I hit it? I hit it. And then jump up to here and do that. Well, what does that do? That does absolutely nothing. Unless there's a portable surface over here. <clears throat> Excuse me.
I'm really not getting how to... Man, didn't I pick a good map to come back to? <laughs> what was I saying about I don't really want to play hard maps for a start? Deep down, I still feel like I need to do something... Alright, hold on. Let's see if I can do something else here. So, let's, for instance, take this over here. So I'm, I'm thinking I might need to take the cubes over to the onto the blue area, both the cubes, but I don't see a way to get up to the top while this is deactivated at the moment. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not meant to be cube climbing into a portal. Also, I'm pretty sure that just got me stuck. Um, that's bizarre. There's not even something I can do, look. Yeah, that's definitely not what I need to do. Um, I don't know. So you can't see that from there. I think my candle just died.
The only other thing... The only thing I can think, and I, I don't know if this is like anything at all, but so I can put this under here. Does does that do anything for me? So if I was to sort of do this, oh, I can't do that because I can't see, and yeah, that becomes. Irrelevant at that point. I mean, I can take it under here. Portal knock. I remember laser. I think that's the sort of thing I've got to do. I think I've got to get it here. I just don't know how to get the gel, how to get the cube gelled. So if I could get the cube gelled, I could point it over to there, get across to here quickly, and then wait for it to move. And then that would clear the bridge and I can like go down and look at that portal gun. Which is the only way that I can see to kind of do anything. I mean, oh, <laughs> okay, okay, that that answers quite a few questions. That answers quite a few questions. So that's a a paint gun. And that's how we can make it to the exit. Using the paint gun. So. I still don't understand what this whole area... What this, all, this, this whole area here is about. What can I do from here? The only thing I can do is I could potentially bring a cube across to here. But I wouldn't see the point in that. Because from this position I can't see anything else. I can't put the cubes in here because they'll just bounce around. Because potentially I could give myself a permanent light bridge. So that brings us back to getting that cube over here.
try and get this painted again. But that has one of two pitfalls. The first being the first being how do I how do I get back over there? No, it's not. Sorry. I was too focused on what I was doing. How the the big question is, how do I get rid of this light bridge to be able to get back down to there? I can easily respawn the cube. So that means that this move has to come from has to come from the cube. The move has to come from the cube. That's a poor place and help it, so we can't move that around. It's just how do we cancel this move here? Or how can we set this up with one cube? But then saying that, is that where... Is that where the whole other side comes in? I'm, I, I'll be honest, I am running on empty at the moment. I'm running on empty and I don't have any ideas at the moment as to how to proceed with this. I mean... It's all well and good that I can do that. But... What would I even do? Even if I had both right. So if I had both cubes over here. What could I genuinely do? Because we can't put this on here. For that reason. I could potentially open this up if I fired a portal across there with a cube on that button. Fire it to there, that would open this like I had before. I don't, I just don't see what this area is for and what I would use this area for. Like 
like genuinely. All right, well, I'm out of time, so I'm going to have to come back to this. But, um, yeah, not the... Um, day one back at playing Portal, not the expected... Not what I expected. I wasn't expected to jump straight into a, a hard map, I'll be honest. Um, I almost think the key is to try and think of a way to activate that light bridge with just the other cube. The problem being... How or why? Because this can't hit anything from here. Like, on its own. It's just not possible. And just for devil's sake, just for the, just for, to please my curiosity, let's say I had this. I mean, that's the thing I could do. That is a thing I could do. Maybe that's the way. But I just don't know because that seems a little... Maybe yes, maybe no. So that so would have to be like this. But yeah, that just screws everything. I can't... See, we, we, we get up there, but then there's no way to get the laser back. Unless I was to do that over here. I'm massively over time here, I know. Oh my god, I think I'm I'm being dumb. No, because that defeats the whole point of having the... Uh, the whole point of that was to have the cube, wasn't it? It was for the companion cube to be up top so that we could grease it up, so to speak. So, yeah. 
amount of ideas um, for today. I'll come back to it tomorrow. Like I said, not an easy start, an easy return to me. I don't think the best map to come back to, perhaps potentially for difficulty-wise. But um, I'll think about it off camera, hopefully make some progress, and we'll be back with it really, really soon. All right, guys, we are back, and I've made progress. I have made progress. So, my big problem was I was up here, and I couldn't be up here and reactivate the laser to, like, take a cube over to the other side if I at all needed one. I, after about half an hour, I've just realized, probably not half an hour, about 20 minutes, um, I can stand here, and I can reactivate this if I put a cube on there. Now, I think, I think, the right cube to put there is this one because I've also worked out what I need what I think I've worked out what I need to do over there and this stems from I was just flicking through the comments not trying to like give myself too much of a hint and there was one comment which said something along the lines of um oh what did it say it said something along the lines of I got the laser over to there and I put I put the laser cube by the laser receptacle. And I was thinking, well, well how does that really help? Um, and then I, then I kind of figured it. So, what we're gonna do here is, once we've done this, we can now reopen this using this and this. And now I can take this cube back over to this side, like this. Okay. Now, this is what they meant. This is what they were alluding to. You can actually put the cube here and do that. Now, what this will do is this will actually cause, or this should even, cause a slight break when I respawn the cube. So now what I can do is do what I originally said I was going to do, which was take this over to here. So is my game losing frames? Yeah, sorry. I got a Twitch. I got a Twitch window open. That's probably why. That's better. Sorry, I've been running like 18 frames. So now what I can do is I can do this here, like so. And then we're going to set this back up. Like this. And like I said, what should happen is we should get that slight delay when the cube respawns, but it should just be enough just to flicker the bridge so I can get down and I can then gel up the um, companion cube. So now I should have gel on my companion cube. which I do. Now we're making progress. Now we have progress. Okay. See, I can't remember the name of, uh, I can't remember, name, remember the name of the commenter, commentor, um, of that comment. But, um, it's not one I recognize from uh, regular portal players, but thank you very much for making that comment. Although I would urge you next time to put any comments relating to solutions and things uh, between spoiler tags rather than just plain text uh, writing what you did. But um, hey ho! All right, so now we have this. Next up. I should now. Oh no! Okay, so I need to do this. Uh, 
Now this should be as I originally stated. That's why I saved because I was pretty confident I was miles off getting that. The amount of times I've lined something up with a laser cube, not saved, and then been completely inaccurate. Um, and it's cost me like loads of times before in the past. Before in the past, great, uh, great use of English knock. Good at English knock is. So now we can go down here. And we can get a gun. Okay. It's all starting to come together now. I don't think I've ever used one of these... Um, one of these... Um... Oh, wow. Okay, so now I see what that's for. You could just jump across there onto there to save yourself. Okay. Things are starting to look up. So. I'm thinking, gel that up. Because I think I might have to get that cube before I can get this cube. If that works, that should bounce off there and onto there, which it does. Excellent. There's no point in respawning that cube just yet. So now I've done that. Now that I've done that, what? Take that over to there. How? So how do I get... How do I get the light bridge back now? That's a... That's a scary... Scary thought. Uh, I can take this through to the other side. Potentially. Oh, you donut. Oh, you donut. Okay. My no concern now is though, how do we, how do I, how do I go and get this cube from over here? I have cleansing gel. Okay. Um. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's move this cube out of harm's way. And then... Crud.
want to check. No, I definitely need the light bridge. Definitely need the light bridge to get across here. So, the new issue is, how do I get that light bridge back? I wonder if it's possible to get back. Oh, crap. It's a good thing about this that I do have the. Okay, so I can get back up to here, which is good to note. Which means I could clear all that out if I needed to. So then I could angle the lasers over to I could angle the laser over to there. Which is fine. Kind of. Um Okay, this may be crazy, but what if I use the gel in a clever way here, or potentially a clever way? So we have that like that, right? Cool. Both cubes acquired. Okay. Now I need to get them both out to the other side. Oh, you donut. Seriously. You know what? I could have just respawned that cube rather than trying to take that one all the way back. Also, I think this, this side is probably a little bit better. Okay, I don't think I needed to actually cleanse that. Okay, maybe I did. Of course, this is going to be glass. Stop me from doing that. So we have two cubes, but how do we utilize those two cubes? That, my friends, 
is the 64 million dollar pound question. Cube toss is not allowed, but I mean I could I could if I was do it properly. I could toss both cubes up there and then go back up to the top and run up, but we know that's not intended. We just need both cubes in there now, I feel. The problem being... I like having the cleansing gel. I like having cleansing gel. Because often when you spray gel everywhere, you get it wrong. Big question is, how do we bypass How do we get the cubes over there, legitimately? Well, that's a way. That could work. clip there because I thought I was going to die. I've done this like flawlessly the first two times and now I can't do it. <laughs> there we go. God, are you kidding me? Okay. So we do that, we do that. We pray for a miracle. Boys and girls, we might be done. It's like aperture tag all over again. We are done. Narcodes, that was a very, very good and creative map. I don't think I've ever seen um, that like putting a laser cube on there as an intended move before to make it move. Um, and yeah, there was some really clever moves in there. I mean, granted, I should have solved it quicker by noticing this was here, um, which really stumped me. But yeah, I think even if I got originally got the cubes, if, if I'd have seen that, I would have probably still been stumped because I only happened to see about that from looking through some of the comments so, um, but yeah, all in all, I'm going to add that to my favourites. It's a very, very good map, very creative map. Um, thank you very much 
for um, suggesting and for all the others. It's just because <laughs> I did see you went on a bit of a, a suggest fest for Nock. Um, but guys, thank you very much for watching. Again, apologies. I've been away. I hope you understand. Uh, we are back, not on a daily schedule, but just as and when I can get videos done, um, just so that there is no pressure on myself. But thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your patience. Uh, until the next video, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Ta-da.